<laughs> Welcome everybody, we are turning to some Xbox housing tours. I'm Jay Hart Ellis. I'm very excited for the second week on Xbox NA. I'll be visiting a bunch of homes, especially from the ESO Property Sisters home here on Xbox NA. Thank you everybody that's helped to get me here, especially Mev for inviting me to a whole bunch of homes for today. We're going to start with Mev's Seavale Spire and then go to a bunch of additional homes. There's no particular theme on this. We'll get some housing decoration inspiration and just enjoy this. You can do so much with housing on ESO anymore. And so we'll see some creativity, see some variety, and hopefully just enjoy this. And I will hopefully not be too speedy here. Do a lot of tours here, touring this live at twitch.tv slash jhar ellis. Also often VOD things up on my YouTube channel. And so, Seavell Spire. Let me uh, read a little bit of backstory on this before we get too deep into this. Most of these will have a little bit of back background information this time. They call this a Jules Verne-inspired build for a houseboat contest. They say, this oceanic explorer's home is docked at a private trader's cove. Extend the gangplank before opening the big doors and enjoy your visit. And there's going to be some awesome bathrooms I shouldn't miss. Okay, I'll try that. <laughs> okay. Awesome Jules Verne-inspired toilets. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. So making the... So Xbox is definitely a challenge compared to PC because we don't have add-ons. The market's different. You can also only really port to people mm -hmm. if they are online um, or if they are their primary residence. A little bit more difficult mm -hmm. other than that. Oh, there's a lot of people following me on Xbox. I need to figure out how to mute those notifications, but now be kind of part of the learning curve here. This is only my second week, so... That's all good. You're welcome to send me a mail in game on Xbox NA or Xbox EU for future housing tours. Maybe you have your primary open or maybe you have a bunch of homes we could make it a special event. I love the little the garden here. It's full of color. I like the little walkway using some of these upside down trophies. That's awesome. So you don't step in the stand, stand like I just did. <laughs> I'm very not used to the controller. I did not ever really have, I never had an Xbox or a PlayStation, a console, a, a Nintendo growing up, but n nothing else. Um, so, I'm terrible at shooters. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, we will... Oh, it is like a Jules Verne inspired build. I remember... Like, Disneyland had like a... Was it a 20,000 Leagues? Uh, sub sub ride. I think they eventually took that down. Yeah, we'll we'll go underwater submarine adventure. How awesome is that? I'll uh I'll worry about this later. <laughs> it has the best bathrooms. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Ah, uh, this is uh, yeah. I can imagine that going down and right, cutting through the water. Probably see all sorts of weird squid things and things under the water. Have to be attacked by a couple of sea monsters, right? Can I hop in here? Wait, is that a door? Wait, I know that those are like the back sides of doors. Can you actually open it? I don't know if I dare jump. Ooh, I also just like, there's so many details. Really creative use of furnishings here. Using a lot of the uh, clockwork furnishings in particular for this. Send me in-game mails to avoid the notifications. <laughs> oh, I like the platform. It looks very buoyant here with the little sigils on the side of it. Okay. Cool, cool. Like a little moving platform. That's a tour boat. Oh, it is a little boat. It's a happy little boat, isn't it? How cool. Shade for the, from the sun. C can I go in the sub? Fake door? Is that a fake door? Looks like a fake door. Going into... I can try to see. I can try to see if I can. I don't know if I should. It looks possible. It looks big enough that there might be stuff inside. I don't know if I can make this jump, though. Hey! 
Oh! I totally can go inside. Awesome! It's not just like empty either. It's like it was intended to be opened up. <laughs> okay, good. Oh. Okay, I'm inside Jules Verne inspired sub. So it's like super fancy in here. That is cool. Look at the burners and everything. Using a lot of the polished brass dwarven furnishings from the Reach. Couple of nice lay one things up here as well. Love the lighting too. Custom sink here. Oh yeah, that's clever. That's really clever. I like how they used it's like the very edge of like a some Nola station or one of the factotum pieces here. So you got a drain for the sink? Just like the edge of, is, or it might just be one of the square boxes kind of ha has that design on the edge of it. Anyway, getting really, really alert, really clever. We have a novel uh, soap dispenser. Or is that a sink? <laughs> Looks like a pump. <laughs> either way, either way. I guess it would be water. Maybe it's for soap, because you could get water just from, from opening this up. Right? While we're underwater. Infinite, infinite. It's a, uh, it's a wardrobe, a clockwork wardrobe there for the design on that. Okay, cool. One of the huge calibration guides from the luxury vendor. It's a, it's a faucet. Okay, okay. <laughs> clever, clever, clever. Love the textures that you have going on. With the nice curved wall here. That's amazing. Using the Khajiit pillows in between. Clockwork scavenge support beams here from the Brass Fortress home goods vendor. Yeah, I would definitely check out the Brass Fortress Home Goods Vendor. It has a ton of great metal, just like platings and things like that, and they are absolutely fantastic for being able to you know, add metal structures. Ooh, I can go up into the second floor. Ooh, fancy, 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 fancy. Bit of a study area up here. Navigation area. Oh, really cool. Oh, we even have screens there. That's awesome. I love how it's keeping with the theme here. Using the Hololoo compact boxes for, like, keyboard inputs. Or just buttons in general. This could be, like, little radars. These are, like, little interrail boxes. How awesome, how awesome. I missed I missed the bathroom already. I'll I'll go back. I always check my notes before I leave. You yeah, know, relatively comfortable bed for the tight space here. Oh, wait, I can go up more. Wait. Well, before I go up, let me go to the bathroom. Oh, there's a bathroom. Now there's a soap. <laughs> there's a soap. Perfect. He's in Clockwork Alchemy. Is that a toilet holder? I believe it is. Wait, can I crouch? Yeah, there's to toilet dispenser right there. To to toilet paper dispenser. Awesome, awesome. Looks like one called seat, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the upstairs. There's another one. There's there must be one for the captain and one for oh it's right here right here. Oh, we even have a shower head. Fantastic. I think. Or it's a speakerphone. Let we'll everybody know when the bathroom's available. <laughs> no. Well done. No, um... Using just a very, very tippy top of a lantern just to get a little button of a design on top. How am I doing? Doing fantastic. Exploring Mev's Jules Verne inspired Seaville Spire right now. They have some submarine lavatories 
and they're absolutely stunning. I really like how you've cobbled and layered all the textures in here so that the, the trick on this is that some of these furnishings are like the brazier here is relatively narrow going down and so you can cover up the base of it with something that's wider and that's exactly how they have the lantern here embedded within you know uh, other things here so they have like the oh what that's the name of the there's an indoor blacksmithing furnishing that has this little spout on it so it's uh you get these amazing creations just by cobbling and layering everything in together make things different than what they're kind of originally intended to be used for might be an indoor steamer is that what it's called Yeah, Mev is amazing. Mev, Mev is incredibly talented with, with putting these houses together. And especially challenging given the constraints of Xbox or, or console in general. Definitely hope that housing features going forward continue to, and they've done a lot with that, um, like with precision edit and things like that, um, continue to make housing more accessible on console. But I think that's one of the amazing things about these houses is that you can do so much with them and can especially appreciate these given the extra difficulty it is to do it on Xbox. I love I love the screens being up, used up here just so you get a little bit of extra light using those reed mats. Are they walkways? Are they Oh yeah, looks fantastic. It's a steamer iron. Okay, that's what it is. Thank you, thank you. Get a make, making an amazing control panel up here. You can see where we're going. You can navigate this behemoth of a ship here. Yeah, it just yeah, it doesn't look like that. It looks like a like a glass, like a reinforced glass look to me. So it can have a little bit more visibility. You need to use your imagination um, with any of with any of the builds as far as you know what were they trying to capture? What was their aim here? Because nothing is <laughs> nothing is real. No, nothing nothing is uh, really what it looks like. It's trying to capture kind of the essence of things. What's this design? I missed that. It's the bottom of a little statuette, or a couple of them. Maybe it'd be like a special little canister? With a little lion head for the for the grabby part. Maybe that's where Jules Verne keeps her special cookies. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Captain Nemo? Is it Captain Nemo? It looks like a little cutting board, but I'm... I don't know my kitchen stuff enough. What, 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 is this, what would this represent? It's obviously very purposely placed here. Is it, is it a little cook, cookie jar? Making the steam? It's probably an alchemical apparatus layered in here with the clockwork coffer behind that. Because that has a little bit of steam. You have like these bubblers. Oh, it's sugar cubes. It's sugar cubes with a little platter for your coffee. For the coffee maker here. Okay, it's a sugar bowl. Yeah, I was thinking you would lift the lid off that. I love the lion head for the lid there, right? Okay. Yep, just trying to piece together what it's supposed to be. I like that. It's incredible. Incredibly uh, creative here. I have only visited like a half of the house so far. Oh, I got... I'm going to try to go out the other way. I didn't know if you could actually access it the other way. I love the use of the sideways doors here. Mm. Can close it from here without falling in. No. <laughs> uh, uh, I like to leave things the way I find them. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's so cool that it opens up like that. I love the garden. Oh, man. Well, it's, I think becoming nighttime. I can't wait until Q4 with the hourglass so people can set the time of day 
Yeah, I barely scratched the surface on this. Okay, cool. We have vendors. So we have like a port town. Different things for sale. It's a gang plate. We have lovely imported rugs. Amazing variety of incense burners. <laughs> what's this? What's this bubbler doing in here? Anyway, um, it's all good. Happy things. Clockwork door under the lights. Oh, extend it? Oh, I can extend the gangplank so I can actually hop to it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Oh! Oh, clever! So I don't have to hop into it. You can actually extend the door there. Okay, that that's clever. Then you can walk in without having to uh, risk getting slaughter fished. Okay, that's... Okay, I, I... I understand now. Now I don't die. Okay, that's super clever. That's super clever. That's a clockwork door from Luxury Vendor. Can extend the door there. It has collision too. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No, any. Okay, I'll keep exploring around. I'm gonna guess that the downstairs part of this house is not decorated. I'd be surprised. Um. Is this about the extent of it? I just don't want to miss anything. I feel like half the build still hasn't been viewed. Do you have like a lovely walled off swimming pool here? Oh yeah, with places to go and lounge here, suck in some rays. It's very pretty with the stairs in there. Oh, oh, the custom fancy ones. What did you use for that? They're the tops of some like caravan, like merchant caravan carts. Uh, I that's really clever. I mean, these have been around for forever, and I haven't seen people use them for like that. You just have to get really, really creative with like you know how you're. You have have to have something in, in the back for it, right? So it covers it up. And then using the Kajit rolled pillows there. It's the, the palanquins is what it's called. Okay. Those are the narrower ones. They're smaller ones, right? Okay. And how awesome. How awesome is this Jules for an inspired build? There's a huge structure up that way, but I know that that block is kind of filled in. So that might be about it. Let's go lounge. Do you have nine more homes? Is Are we good and cut up for now, Mev? I think Mev has additional homes for me to visit in future housing tours as well. It's getting a confirmation here. Just love, love that. Good job, Mev, as always. How are people so creative? You can see the docks. Oh, uh... Which direction are the docks? Oh, oh, this way. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Lovely boats all tied up. So from the Blackwood dailies. Can get those as a lead. Yeah, just really extending this lovely port town feel. Very nautical. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and with that, I think I'm going to port on to the next home. Is that okay? Absolutely incredible, Mev. Okay, next up. I'm going to go to Technicolors. Most of these are from ESO Property Sisters today. Let's see if this will work. I did get a... Uh-oh. I did get a keyboard. Hopefully it'll work. Ha 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 ha, it's working. <laughs> okay, good. 
I'm going to travel to them. It's not, I'm not actually going to their primary. This is the only other way to do it. I don't know if that's any faster than just using the controller. But <laughs> I'll, I'll get more used to it. I did, I did get a, a cheap keyboard, so I can at least respond to in-game mails. So if you send me mail, I can say, yeah, I'll come to your house this time. Okay, Technicolor has a tiny home built on a salted platform and a serene garden. Okay, great. They must have had a contest, I think, because uh, that's a thing that came up a couple times. I think they had a contest, which was to build a tiny home on a salted platform, which is just kind of like a small, it's a sizable, we might see it here. I think the, 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 yes, this is the platform. It's the other side of it. With the, with the wood on it, and you had to only limit the house to however big that footprint was. And so that was kind of the deal with that. So we'll visit the home, and then we'll also visit the garden here. Uh, let me start with the garden. I think I... Sucker for greenery. Of course it's not time. Is that a bad thing? It looks magical at night, with all the lanterns. And the hawkmoth cabbages. Look beautiful. They finally answered my prayers, my thousands of feedback mails I've sent in. Now, I probably sent a dozen feedbacks over time, <laughs> saying, could you, could you add something for controlling day-night cycle? And they finally, they finally responded. Zoss hears all. No, um, Zoss responds to some. No, um, we'll have a day-night toggle come Q4 with the sacred hourglass of Alkosh gallery item you can earn from the event ticket. So I'm very excited about that. Plus the contest list for a whole year each January. Oh, so it's already all preset. Oh, that's that's a way to do it. I should do it like that, maybe. Wood one and the two-sided tile platform. It's all wood one. Oh, okay, okay. Well, oh, I had an amazing garden here. Very, yeah, serene. Serene is the right word. Nephis. Nephis has an appreciation for the good things of housing. Hey, thank you, thank you, welcome. I'm just starting into our second home here on the Xbox housing tours. This is my second week on Xbox. I'm very excited. Somebody could do a shout for Nephis. Nephis is a, an amazing streamer. One of the best at trials. I'll do a shout out if nobody else does. <laughs> so we're continuing the tours, kind of keeping this fast paced, playing on vaulting this, so we'll kind of keep moving along. Um, but for now, we are in Technicolor's Boulder Tree. They have a tiny home, tiny home that they built here. And again, Xbox is such a different environment without add ons and with using the controllers generally and not being able to port around to secondary houses, things like that. No, it's it's very different, and so the people on Xbox have been incredibly kind in inviting me to their homes. And is that a microwave? That is, that's fun. That's fun. Again, just cobbling things here together. Thank you, thank you, Black Ranger, for that shout out. Yeah, no essential housing tools. Essential housing tools. I definitely recommend getting that if you're on PC. Oven here with a door, fantastic. Using the little spools here. Probably spools for the little, little knobs. They have the sink. Tiny little home with full of detail, full of detail. Fridge with magnets. Shopping list there, maybe. Student's report card. Latest parking ticket you want to fight? Could be anything. <laughs> Oh uh, no. Couch is usable. Oh wait, there's a couch I can use. Wait, right, right here? Alright, I wanna sit in the couch. I'm a sucker for sitting in cobbled couches improperly. No, wait. <laughs> uh there we go. A little better. I look a little different on Xbox. Oh, great, great. Yeah, I love it when you can kind of customize these but still use them. That can be a tricky thing. Lots of time, once things are kind of overlap, they become unusable. Thank you, Terrible Paranoid with the Fellow as well. 
Okay, tiny little home. Getting on up higher, higher, higher. I always like to kind of see what people's hobbies are based off of what they put in their homes. This would be a... I'm imagining it being a television. And this would be a, is it an Xbox controller? Is that is that a cobbled together Xbox controller? I'm I'm guessing it is. Am I wrong? Got a reference as a TV and an Xbox. <laughs> I I love it. It's just using little little cups. That's it's super cute. Just make this the I should make this a thumbnail. <laughs> oh cool, can I sit here? Can I sit here and lean back and play Xbox? Oh no if I can. Uh uh. That's an Xbox. Oh that's fantastic. Gotta represent here. See, so you can you can make an Xbox an ESO. Just fine, just fine. Titan with Bala, thank you. Continuing along with the Xbox housing tours. Lost Steps is not quite launched here on Xbox, so they can't have any of the new fancy high aisle structural furnishing plans or those legendary plans yet either. Yeah, people are so creative with the sinks. We got a fantastic cobbled together toilet with extra toilet paper. I wonder if the devs knew what they were doing with this cup. I don't think they did. I didn't think it, they thought that far ahead. Oh, I can't sit on that. Dang it, I want to sit. We need, we need functional, sitable toilets. And custom shower. Oh, cool, cool. Oh. Rawr. I'll get angry. Slightly angry. Why am I angry? Because I can't, I can't sit on the toilet. That's why I'm angry. That's right. <laughs> Extra TP. Very important. Oh, some, somebody should hook Technicolors up with a sub. And I don't get the ads every half hour. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, wait. I I shook. Is that because I fell and died? Just stand in the shower. Just stand in the shower. Yeah. Mosaic floor. Oh yeah, I was just using a rug. It's a clever way of doing that too. Works well. Let's see. Anything else I missed? Try to make a. Hey, I really appreciate that. Take the colors. You can make all the emotes happen. Then we'll get the ads. <laughs> okay, I I think that'll be about it. A lot to explore in a tiny home there. It's actually not super crazy tiny, but it's has two floors. It's nice. Okay, anything else? Anything else? I'll keep moving along. Still have eight homes to get to. Try to keep things relatively fast-paced. It's okay if I miss a couple features here and there, I hope. I'm gonna move along. I'm gonna move along. I really appreciate the invite. You're back! Oh! Oh, you're- <laughs> You got the sub. Uh... Oh, they wouldn't have known if they... I saw everything while you were on your ad break. That's right. Okay. I'm moving along. Moving along. Thank you, Technicolors. Amazing home. <laughs> and we'll keep moving along. Let's see. Next up. Bad, bad Nana. You got it. All. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Moon Sugar Meadow. They also have a tiny home built on a solitude platform. I say follow the wedding lanterns, okay. I say Nana is tired of the city, she needs alone time to read and relax. Moon Sugar had a tiny little place for her to rest. Come visit, just don't stay too long. Okay, and there's also gonna be a tavern in here. I'll get to that second, okay. Okay, following the wedding lanterns. And then there's going to be a, something else over that way. Okay, good. Okay, little place to maybe relax and retire. On a tiny little home on a platform. 
That's the platform. It's, it's, it's maybe bigger than you think it is. It's not a very tiny home. <laughs> oh, I love how breezy and open it is. Is Ember riding a dragon? Riding Perigite. But a dragon, a dragon nonetheless. Clever ideas. I had somebody send me a really nice note um, saying that they had been viewing my tours and they had re received hundreds of ideas and th then they invited me to their home and so that was really cool. That's that's why I do these tours is to try to inspire people to be creative well, and to just show off kind of like the cool things you can do but I'm hoping that it's not just something that you absorb but you actually think about how, yeah how can I do things differently? How can I be creative about this? How, what can I be to you know add that little bit of a flavor to something? So that was that was a, a really uh, nice note that somebody sent me. So a refrigerator, love all the food in there. Looks really fresh. Well, I like the knife block, angling that in just right. And then we have a stand mixer. <laughs> Poor fat totem. It's been repurposed. If you if you became a fat totem, and then you eventually got decommissioned and you got turned into kitchen equipment, would would you be happy? Or remiss about that. Still like the soul gem attached to it. It can feel itself mixing your soon-to-be-burned pancakes. I don't know. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Everything in there. Mixing up a nice batch of nutriment paste. And then we have cobbled sink here. Love that. I really love the idea of it's the boiler because it has this extended little thing. And the way it's positioned here, it looks like like how like in restaurant kitchens they have the hoses that you can actually like detach, right, and wash things more effectively. So I'm thinking of that as being as an ex extendable hose for washing the dishes with soap up above. That's really cool. Actually, that's one thing that I... Uh, this apartment has a... the kitchen sink. It, you can pull the thing out and then use the water all over. I use that a lot. It's handy, handy. Same with shower. This is kind of pseudo-related. Uh, shower, showers with the extendable shower heads if you can get one with a hose that loops down, get those. They're much, much better than just relying on the constant stream of water. I don't know. I've got cleaner. And if you're on the fence, get get one with the get one with the hose. That's life pro tip from J Hart. <laughs> <Pro tip. laughs> I imagine most people do anymore, but if if you haven't, they're like twenty, like twenty, twenty-five bucks to get one. They're nice. Yeah, this is Bad Bad, Bad, Bad Nana's Moon Sugar Meadow. They needed a place to relax here, so they have a custom home here, out on the water. Nobody has opinions about shower heads. This is fine. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, the Druidic Provisioning Station. Make some nice rustic breads and whatnot in there. It's a very happy place. You know, very busy. Nana's whipping up a lot of food here. I like to share discoveries. Or like if if I come across a product that I really like, I'll let people know. I think I inherited that from my mom. She's very enthusiastic about things. She, she has to, if she finds something she all likes, she has to tell everybody. Magic chicken eggs, that's amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So yeah, nice retirement place so we can like, make the, make an omelet over there. What a happy, I love that, it's a Cold Harbor seedlings? A little Cold Harbor glow stocks. Go upstairs. No, I, I have not done. 
I haven't gone upstairs. I just saw the chickens on the way out. I, uh, there's more for me to explore. Vanity here? Oh, there's that steamer again. Oh, you haven't... Can't even look, really look at, into that. Yep, you put a little drain in there. Fantastic. More toilet paper. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I like the little tiny wicker toilet paper baskets. That was a nice thing that they added between solitude furnishings and layout wind furnishings. There's all these wicker things. Somebody at Zaz likes wicker. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But I appreciate it. Because they, they look nice. Especially for homes here. Big basket there. <laughs> like crazy. Anyway. Lovely bedroom up here for Nana. Can I sit here? I want to sit here and just enjoy this. It's a very soft color palette. Very relaxing. Especially with the water. Yeah, table over the tub so you can go and enjoy. Enjoy a drink. Enjoy the sounds. We even have a little... I'm going to imagine that this is a little sponge. Is that the edge of... It's not a potato, is it? Is it? It looks different than a potato. Is it like the edge of a mushroom? Is it an upside-down baked potato? I know that they look different. It might be an upside-down baked potato. I'm imagining that being like a sponge. Could be soap. Rustic soap. It's soap. It is a potato. It's not it's not the plain one, it's the baked one, but upside down. <laughs> anyway. Uh, details that don't need to be known. It's soap. It's we'll go with soap. Okay. More to see. Okay, and then they also had, I'm, I'm assuming that's most of it, over on the other side, over this way, they have an entirely second build. If I didn't miss too much. Amazing retirement home there on the water. Now they have a Tavern. They say ha Moon Sugar has a new tavern. Come listen to the band and enjoy some food and drinks. Don't forget to visit the bathhouse. Glenda is Nana. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, great. Thank you. It is soap. Okay. It's a potato. It's a potato, but it's soap. Okay, good. <laughs> Imagine it smells very fragrant. Well, being maybe it's like cinnamon. This makes it brown. Okay, tavern out here. Happy tavern. Khajiit themed tavern. We'll go in if I have permission to. Oh yeah, definitely Khajiit themed. Oh, it's so bright inside. I love it. We have music. We have places to sit. We have entertainment. I have a whole band here. Have lots of fresh food. A lot of meat in here. I imagine it smells very nice and oily and fragrant. I'm noticing a theme with these houses. A lot of a lot of happy food things. Xbox people know how to eat. Somehow. <laughs> I don't I don't know what the connection there is. I guess PC people have good kitchens too. Aha! Ha 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 ha! We have the we have the hose in the corner again. Perfect. Howdy howdy. Touring homes on Xbox. 
in Bad Bad Nana's tavern right now in Moon Sugar. Happy little toilet for a tavern. Great use of the ESO plus painting up there. I like how there's multiple places for entertainment. It must be a very busy place. I like a little circle on the on the floor. It's a like a solitude table or something. But it would kind of be like for especially for like a mime here, it'd be like they're they'd be like contained within that cylinder, right? That'd be kind of my imagination on that. Xbox peeps love food and building bathrooms. Apparently. <laughs> maybe 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 they just play Xbox from their bathroom very intimately aware of the ins and outs of the bathroom and bring that to life here in housing anyway some kind of house contest some of these were entries for previous housing contest uh, most of the homes today are from the ESO Property Sisters Guild. Thank you again, Mev, and then also Boo Boo Kitty. Boo Boo Kitty was the name of the guild leader. Appreciate ya. Tavern with a view. And edible soap. Wait, no, potato soap. And drinks. And toilets. It's a lot of toilets. I've seen, I'm like three houses in, and I'm I have seen like seven toilets. <laughs> what? What? What is this connection? A lot of soap. But maybe that's saying something. This is inspiring for the Xbox people. Soap does exist. That's what I'm hoping for with these tours is to inspire people. Oh, Nightmare and Boo Boo Kitty are co-GMs of ESOPs. Okay, 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 thank you, thank you. I didn't catch that. Okay, well thank you again, Nightmare and Boo Boo Kitty. And then, and then big thanks to Mev for putting the tour list together. That was absolutely, absolutely astoundingly helpful. <laughs> Uh, I like how you use these. They're like the lean-to shed walls, I think, but putting them upright. They have a really good worn weather texture on them. Makes this place feel older and gives it a lot of charm. Guild residents of these homes are too classy to poop in buckets. Okay, okay. ESO lore. ESO property sisters are too classy to... They need their toilets. Lots of toilets. T toilets for all. To <laughs> now this is fantasy, so... It's, with it. it's, it's, it's okay, we'll allow it. The drum set? Oh, uh, the band area. Yeah, I can go there again. I'm um, just trying to make sure I didn't miss too much. Yeah, happy band area. Uh, there's a war drum that's an antiquity furnishing. Uh, this Argonian drum is craftable. And this Ifre shrine is from a luxury vendor. Not everyone gifting a sub to Boo Boo Kitty. Hey, thank you, thank you. Boo Boo Kitty can make the happy emotes happen. Thank you so much. I actually maintain a list on my website on the luxury stuff. I updated that for this weekend, too. It's all up to date. Mic is cool. Yeah, it's using like a spear and just a little sequence plaque. Oh, I, I totally missed the... What is it called? Tambor? <laughs> it's the symbols. The, uh... 
Lanky Metal Machine Maker. What is it called? It makes a pish noise, yeah. <laughs> a snare, snare, it's a snare, okay. Thank you, or tambourine, it's a, it's a snare drum. Snare drum is the name? I don't... Okay, anyway, uh, thank you so much, thank you so much. I have seven houses left, we'll continue along. No, I understood. Okay, and continuing along. Thank you again, thank you again. Okay, next up, going to Norbaggins. Okay. Thanks for viewing. So thank you, Glenda. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. Not to come over for a magical omelet. <laughs> no, no, it seemed like you wanted your piece. He said not to stay long. I understand. Oh. Kind of got lucky with the nighttime on this. Okay, it is. I won't spoil this just yet. It may or may not be obvious. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, here's Mary. This is Mary's tree house. And garden. And... Happy little place for a dog here. Wait, wait, wait. Ha oh, happy little place for a dog. Look at this. Look how happy this dog is. Got a food bowl and giant bone there. There's bedding. Let's see, so this is a themed around Miri, the companion. And Dark Elf. Bit of a bit of a potty mouth. Had a raid off to to an Australian streamer last night. Oh man. <laughs> Every other word was flavorful. Oh, it was funny. It was trash ash. It was funny. Oh, did you did you throw some food out for the chicken here? Oh, oh, you did. Chicken has a little bit of like corn or something there. Fantastic. That's cute. Oh, it's happy. It's very happy. I see. This is from Nora Baggins, Turn Springs, Race Tree House. See, I'm I'm a big sucker for tiny little details. A very happy place. Maybe a little too happy. <laughs> I don't think of Mary as a particularly cheerful character most of the time. No, it's beautiful. And going right into the treehouse. Oh, this is a really clever way of framing this. Lovely housecaping. Yes. Landscaping. Okay, we're now inside, but it really looks like we're outside. This is a cool way of doing this. You can see, you can see out, right? It's just very breezy. How many more toilets are going to be in here? I'm hoping at least twelve. Oh, I can't, I can't go in. I bet I can see a toilet. There's a toilet. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ah, uh, lovely, lovely. So far, the house to toilet ratio is off the charts. <laughs> oh, man. It was the other way around. I have a nasty habit. If I, if I ever say anything wrong, I have to correct myself. It's a bad habit, probably. Anyway, happy home. Toilet is fancy. So yeah, it's very fancy. Seems like the way of the framing of this. I can't actually hop into the little rooms here. 
invisible walls. Yes, hey, wow, thank you. I promise that. Appreciate ya. We're we'll going to your home soon. Wait, what, what did I say was clippable? Wait, no. <laughs> I'm a very unclippable streamer. Amazing atmosphere on this. Relaxing. Lovely custom modern kitchen and bathroom. <laughs> okay, and I think I'll do it. So Mary's treehouse, Mary living living well up in the treetops. Yeah, it's, it's the boundaries of the house right there, so they've really used, the, like, the entirety of it. Okay, and I'm going to continue along. To... Concordia's home. Okay. <laughs> the mime put up the walls. That's it. <laughs> What's the mime's name again? House guest. Oh well. But look behind me. Okay, okay. Say another Minchuger. Okay, downtown living at its finest. Complete with a private courtyard and convenient access to the local rooftop. Okay, now accepting reservations. Oh, fun! Look behind me, right from the get-go. Oh! Yeah, I've really modified this. Okay, cool. Difficult to do that. Oh, you have a whole, a whole city here. How awesome is that? Is this inspired by any, like, real-life counterpart? Very narrow. Could be more European, or maybe not. Lovely way of making these doors. Framing that well. Nothing specific. Okay, okay. Lovely garden down here. These are the hot moth cabbages from a luxury vendor. Fantastically bright and magical. I right, can I go in these? I can. Well, oh, oh, I don't know if I should dare go in yet. Um, let me let me go up here first because I know it's a greenhouse and it's kind of a more closed off space. So this is all within an Eleanor greenhouse. And then, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Especially for a city, so I can imagine the city with these kind of uh, nice places. Kind of public here. Now they're gifting us up to Sherezaya, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just trying to uh, appreciate the feel of it. Maybe, oh, I don't know if I should... I can turn the compass off on the top, but I, don't, I think it'd be more distracting than anything. I love the layered textures in here. You have those scavenged plates from the Clockwork City up on the top there, and that works as like a lovely trellis for the vines to climb up. I really love the layered textures in this. Moonlit co-vine, glowing flowers in there, the snow lilies. There's some amazing ivies that you can get from some of the home good vendors, whether that's in elsewhere. I think Malabal Tour home good vendor out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the map, has some good ivies as well. Then I poke around to the various home goods vendors. It has some beautiful feel to this. So this is a 
downtown living at its finest. So we have a restaurant accepting reservations. Is that a deal? Or it's a hotel? Private court courtyard and convenient access. Okay, okay. More like a hotel then, maybe. It's a model home. Okay. Ooh, what am I doing? This is me not knowing Xbox controller commands very effectively. I love the color choices here with the little bits of green everywhere, really tying everything together. Greens and browns and golds. Kind of what I do for my character. <laughs> I haven't had time to modify this character too much, though. Cobbled kitchens. I'll be I'll be on the lookout for lots of toilets. What's my toilet count up to? Okay, going. Storage room. All details. Oh, the fridge. Where's the fridge? The fridge works. Oh, this is a fridge. Oh, you can open up the fridge. I would have thought that. Oh, that's cool. We got a refrigerated fish. That's really clever. Yeah, you can flip the door around to open whichever way you like, right? It's a fun fridge. Yep, it works well. Couple it all together. Did I miss anything on this main floor? I feel like I didn't spend a lot of time here, though. Let's see. Is this a... Extra room. Extra bathroom. Perfect. We got one, two toilets in here. Wait, no. <laughs> Don't need to stretch this toilet count out. Obviously. It's like a third steamer I've seen. More than one. No. <laughs> this is a dumb joke. Anyway. <laughs> I like even adding things like like a little broom here in the corner. So, you no, know, like things that you would need. Fills the space in. Bolted board. Oh yeah, right here. You'd have different orders coming in, or instructions, work orders. Perfect for a place like this. Ooh, we have a work area. That's nice. Happy little place to work on potion crafting. Feel like I'm gonna get lost. And the custom sink in the corner. Another toilet. <laughs> so the house to toilet ratio con continues to expand here. Okay, perfect. Ooh, happy happy shower. Get me I'm getting myself nice and clean here. Did you use the very, very lip of a waterfall just to have the water run off into the corner there? That's really cool. That's, that's clever. Tiny little detail there. That's, that's awesome. Build a toilet store. Toilets are pretty much a staple in your guild's builds. Toilets of Tamriel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so taking reservations here. Would you want to stay here? Seems pretty nice. It's 
Let's read the views here. Yeah, it's beautiful. I really thought this out very well. And this older city feel. It's your default. <laughs> Oh, and the balcony up above the garden. Go and get that fresh air. Well, absolutely stunning. Incredibly creative. I really like good all around build. Has everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Concordia. And we'll continue along as we continue to tour Toilets of Tamriel. I know. And, and houses sometimes. <laughs> okay, continuing over to. So we're halfway done today. Amazing build, amazing build. Uh, Jess, up next. Nope, that's not what I did. Okay, Jess up next. Toilet museum. Does have like a hundred of them? <laughs> okay, house number six today. Maybe something not so happy on this next one. Inbun sugar. Meadow. They have a nasty house. Wait, uh, did I... Oh, I traveled to player instead of travel to primary. I'm sorry. I will learn. It's like, why am I going to Northern Elsewhere? Is Moon Sugar Meadow in Northern Elsewhere? It's not how it normally does it. <laughs> you did a bathroom contest a couple years ago? Kind of steamrolled after that. I oh, see. Welcome to the way. Yeah, apparently. Welcome. Apparently, you're doing some stuff no one else for. You buying vines? Anyway, um, okay. They say this is a okay. I'm in the right place now. Nasty house. They say the divorce didn't go well and the cleaning fairy quit. Oh, I need a cleaning fairy. How much it cost to get a cleaning fairy? <laughs> uh, Enchanted divorce here in the forest. Okay, we'll go. We'll go look at it. I feel like something's watching me. Yeah, all sorts of things watching me. I wonder if this is going to be a play on like happily ever after, but not quite. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's uh, signs of what's happened here. Oh no, poor deer hanging up there. Ugh. What are the characters here? Try to figure it out. Put a bucket in the corner. <laughs> that works too. It's very magical. We have our mushroom mushroom storage room. That's fun. Maybe making special herbs. I see a little bit of death. It's a smidgen of death and skulls. Spooky house? I'm trying to piece together the people that lived here. Live here? Lived here. I'm not so sure. Witches of some sort with all the herbs and stuff. It's very messy. Hmm. Paper scattered all over. Very... Yeah, everything was left in a very messy state. Things starting to grow in here. It's 
signs of fighting, maybe. Or maybe this is, maybe this is a happy couple. They 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 couldn't make things work, but they they had to they had to divide the assets and everything. But they couldn't figure out who got which of the socks. They kept arguing whether they should go to one or the other, or whether they should each take one of the socks. And they fought for so long that they both just died here at the table. I didn't even touch their food. They were so busy fighting over the socks. Oh man, I guess I get the socks. Fantastic. Wait, no, who? <laughs> what else happened here? Other priorities, including. <laughs> Very nice socks. Worth. Worth. Everything else d didn't matter. I don't know. Got sticky cheese attracting all the flies and rats. Did 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 you have to put rat droppings on the on the bed? Happy happy little rat droppings. Okay, perfect. <laughs> like little bread morsels. Um. Oh, the fridge opens. You you had to put rat. Yeah, I had to put rat at once. Adorable. I kind of forgot that. I was talking about pets yesterday, and I didn't even bring up a pet rat. Oh yeah, Happy spoiled everything, right? Everything's... I wonder how things were originally. Yeah, there's all sorts of smells in here. Ooh. Legacy span with a follow. Everything seems to be pretty, pretty rotten. Washing the di dishes and the hatchet there. Uh, you have to be careful. You don't want to get the handle dirty, at least. It's definitely a spooky, axe murdery, witchy house, I think, slightly. Knives thrown about. I get the sense that these were not very uh, pleasant people. Living or dead. Had my pet rats. It was cute. It like, like go in the shirt and like just go all over. <laughs> the only problem with that was like it'd be a little scratchy sometimes. That would be a little scratchy, not ever intentionally. It's cute. I don't live very long, though. So lived in. Very cool. Yeah, it's very awesome. Okay, spooky house. Very, very creepy, deathy atmosphere. Love it. Bottle that's living precariously on the shelf. Yeah, there's like a lot of that, like, like right here. It's like, just about to fall and break, right? They have a lot of that going on along. Plus, they just have general messiness about. I like how they just have, like, steam coming from everywhere. It's like these nasty fumes. I didn't see the open dishwasher there. Okay, well, absolutely fantastic details on this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Going to... Continue along. Okay. Next up. Feel to show her. Yeah, I'm glad. I... There's probably so many other details here, too. Great job, realistic spooky house. Okay, next up from Big Bigford Esquire. They have a little grand manor. Yes. Okay. Good. They have a labyrinth. Ooh, with scenes from Labyrinth and Pan's Labyrinth movies. 
Are those related at all? <laughs> I, I, I've seen Pan's Labyrinth. I haven't seen Labyrinth. Oh no, people got people chewed me out for not seeing Labyrinth yet. I need to still do that. Um, Red Queen's Rose Garden. So all, anything that has a maze. We'll have a Labyrinthian build here. No need to parkour, just follow the path. Okay. No putties. Pan's Labyrinth, super creepy. <laughs> Had some shocking stuff going on in it. Okay, well, if it's a labyrinth, I think first person's going to be probably the most appropriate. As they follow the path, so I'm not going to get too lost. I'm lost already. Uh, this way. Ooh. Right, no. Um. I'll kind of go back and forth. Are there going to be spooky things everywhere? You'll have to point out scenes here, because if you recognize them, maybe drop them in the chat here. Indrick heads with signs flipping around. Maybe those could be cards from Red Queen? Rose Garden? The playing cards? Because they would have heads on both sides? I don't know. Or is this the doors? Wait, no, no, no. There's something else. Heads that tell lies or the truth. Is that from Labyrinth or Pan's Labyrinth? Oh, see, here's the thing. I'm not going to know anything from Labyrinth. Dang it. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause the stream. I'm going to pause the VOD. I'm going to go watch Labyrinth and everybody sit tight. And then I'm going to come back <laughs> and be able to know any of this references here. No, um... No, I'll, I'll keep going along. So they have... They have... Doors that tell the truth or tell lies? How do you know? You say, what would the other door say counts as a toilet? No, oh no, I'll keep going along. Can't, this is four toilets right here. Okay, perfect. Same from, okay, good. One leads to the castle at the center of the labyrinth, and the other leads to, da 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 da, certain death. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Wait, can I go up in here? It's not blocked off. Uh, I'll assume it's intended to go into. Maybe this will just be a good uh, vision. Oh, yeah, somebody's looking at the scene of this. So this is what we have to look forward here today. Oh, no. It's a lot. I'll just kind of blitz through here. You'll have to just point out references I don't understand. Fast thing can make all the new happy things happen. Thank you, Yonder. Kids find it creepy. Ah, oh, I'll have to I'll have to go back. Okay, continuing along, and I'll have to backtrack here every once in a while too. I guess I'll just kind of go to things that catch my eye. All the fountain here. You can point out scenes if you uh, recognize them. Well, now I have like multiple forks. Um. I generally know kind of the layout of the Lintral Grand Manor Courtyard, so I will just kind of try to visually map out everything and hopefully not miss too much. We have two chickens playing with a yarn ball. I'm gonna guess that's from Red Queen. These must be the dodos, and this is for croquet. Maybe? Maybe? Or, or is it also a Labyrinth reference? Dang it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, may maybe they are. Nope. Yep. <laughs> somebody says nope. Somebody says yep. Fireys. Is there a rose garden? Oh, it's a rose garden. Yeah, we're painting some of these red. Right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yeah, we we're painting the roses red. It's not Red Queen. But we're painting the roses red. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're work in progress on this one. Okay, anyway. Let me know if there are references here that I don't understand. Or that I do. Or if I misinterpret. It's all okay. Everything's up to interpretation. Whatever speaks to you. Right? Kinda. Whatever inspires you to do fun stuff. Oh, it's 
like a maze within a maze. Maze of walls here. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's very narrow, gosh. Am I supposed to go up there? No, I don't think so. Okay. I wonder if there's any, like, jump scares. Oh, no. I'm slightly, slightly afraid. Oh, it's nice here. It's like the opposite of a jump scare. You just have, like, nice fountains and gardens along the way. I backtrack. Probably shouldn't. And it's all topsy-turvy. Oh, no! I've landed in Escherland. Oh no! Do I dare go down there? This is cool. Can I walk sideways? I bet gravity works different here, right? Oh, can I go into here? Oh, this is cool. I don't have ever thought of that. That's clever. Left a little hole above. I found the treasure! Okay, I'm grabbing all the treasure. And then... Okay, it's a little heavy now. Ugh, can't hardly get through. I feel like I miss things in Escherland. I wanted to go with Fall into Escherland. Uh, maybe I can. <laughs> wait, do you fall through there? Wait, 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 wait. So let's say take a leap of faith. Okay, so the wall is sideways here. It's wall is sideways. Going up. Oof. 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 Okay, I've reoriented. All is good. <laughs> Just wondering if that didn't have collision. The distorted perception. I know it's all over the place. It's awesome. Uh, uh oh. Remember how to get back out? Ah. No, where was I before? So disoriented. Okay, go through here. I don't think I picked up enough treasure before. Got some more. Okay, good. Getting out this way. Yeah, oh, man. All of this in the one house here, too. This is only like one part of it. So to follow the path, so I think that's the best thing to do. Don't overthink this too much. Pretty considerate overall. Okay, end of the line here. Oh yeah, more Escher-esque feel here. Uh, I think maybe I was supposed to end here. How <laughs> do so I get back out? Uh, oh, wait, this way. Am I gonna slide off? Yes, oh, I can't close the door though. Oh uh, no, uh, uh, I failed. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Oh no, the eyes. I have fallen. Well, on to more. Wow, there's even... There's a house that's open here, too. Ah, uh, what cake. Uh. Everything's upside down at this point. Okay, so I probably haven't gone this way. It's a slide. Yeah, a little slide. This will go up into the other tower. It might just be another view. Or maybe there'll be a whole extra thing up there. There's a whole extra thing up here. But where are we going? Oh no! <laughs> the trap! The carpet! Uh, am I stuck now? Oh, it's all still top to turvy. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be stuck within the greenhouse.
I'll fall down here and hope I can escape. I'm trapped. Let me out. Let me out. I think I'm seriously trapped, though. Wait, is there... There's no... There would be no way out of this. Rip. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I'll have to go back to the beginning somehow. Uh, there we go. Okay, J Hart dies one time so far, more or less. Right, right in the D pet B. Yep. <laughs> Mary with a follow. Thank you, thank you. Never trust the rugs. Never, never, never. I know that there's like a stable area over there. I don't know if it's plugged up though. I know there's at least one more spooky thing over this way. Well, I should access that from the other other side. I'll go up the main path. And there's so much to explore with this. I'm glad it's not like super easy to get like crazy lost though. I'll save the interior of the house for last then, if it is a thing. Looks like there's a little mini maze here. I'm gonna go off to the side first though. We have a spooky little guar. Guar looks kinda dang spooky in the tree hole there. The counter, yeah, Car Cardi specifically added a death counter for me, for me specifically when I die in player houses on PC. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. I think Stabity has one too. Oh, this is Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, spooky place. Oh, no. Yeah, I can see the path from before. All these thick exits. I'm gonna die again. Oh, that, that looks hopeful. That looks optimistic. Okay, I'll go that way. Hopefully, it doesn't get all spooky creepy. I think I'm stuck down here. Slightly spooky creepy. Okay, I think that's the end of the line on that, then. Okay, I'm not aware of any other way out of here. I guess I'm just stuck here forever. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did I... How did I... How did I get out of here? Oh, let me out. Did I fall into this? I don't remember that. No, I'm just super disoriented. Okay, we're all good. I'm back out. Yeah. Okay, final, final place will be the home. Making me dizzy. Yeah, I know. Oh, the inside of the house has been completely redone to be another maze. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, we have a happy feast. It's a happy feast full of death stuff. Oh, isn't this the one that had the eyeballs? Ugh. Mmm, gory feast. So much meat and drippy goodness. Oh uh, yeah, they have something special that they're eating. It's the eyeballs. <laughs> oh man, they hold in their hands, right? From Pan's Labyrinth. Okay, cool. What a happy movie. Childhood favorite, right? Eyeballs on the plate, eyeballs on the plate. How do they do that? They are... Super creepy. They are... It looks like the very edges of the... I know there's these little vials of blood that you can get from the bequeather. They would have a red thing like that, or there's some alchemy tubes. I'm trying to think of what else is so bright and reflective. It's not like a radish. Anyway, happy? Remember to the skill to are amazing at these builds. <laughs> uh, 
This is also a Pen's Labyrinth reference of some sort with the three heads, but I don't remember it. They, they are blood vials. Okay, okay. Okay, and I think that will probably be the end of it, unless I can hop through any of these carpets on the wall. Which would be not intuitive here. No, I don't think so, because this is like the inside of the kitchen area. Okay, should all be good then. I think that will be it for this amazing labyrinthian home. We had three different mazes represented. Between Labyrinth, Happy Labyrinth, Pan's Labyrinth, and... Alice in Wonderland. Let's walk back to the door. Wait, uh, is there more? What, what else did I miss? Oh, wait. Door of the house? This one? I was just going to port to the next house. Is there another place I missed? This is Jess and Jess and chat here. That's it. It's just a chair. Oh, the chair with the with the hourglass on it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, we'll continue along. Just a couple more homes. And that was that yeah, was from Beakford Esquire. Okay, final home from ESO Property Sisters. Moon child. Super creative. Yes, yes. Okay, they say this is best yet night. I think it might still be night. Why not here soon? They say Disneyland Parks is proud to announce the completion of their newest park in the heart of Tamriel. See views from the entire park on Mickey's Ferris wheel and try not to puke on Ariel's boat ride. Enjoy your sweet rolls and your time here on the happiest place on Tamriel. <laughs> okay, it'll be uh, Disney X ESO here. Okay, great. Okay, we're getting our tickets. Set. Child ticket size level. Okay, perfect. It'll be a child here today. Oh yeah! I hope I don't get any copyright problems. <laughs> anyway. Trademarks galore. Ah, it's Mickey. Okay, great. Get your tickets, spend your money, go on Mickey's Ferris wheel here. It's the pukiest place on earth. Well, uh, hidden, hidden Mickey's everywhere. I've been to Disneyland twice in my life, and Dis wait, Disneyland wants well, Disney World twice. I think that's right. When I was younger, so it's fun. Imagine it hasn't changed at all. Yeah, you know, they're constantly adding new stuff from new movies and everything, too. Go get an $89 sweet roll. Huge crowds and baby strollers. Oh, yes, it's a, it's a private showing here. We rented the place out. <laughs> Do they have popcorn? Is it a popcorn machine? It's like kettle corn here. How oh, fun! Have carts that go all around. How cool is this? You have all these like queuing dividers, so that means something. <laughs> we got here at just a perfect time. Oh, I see Ariel's boat ride. It'd swing back and forth, right? Really cool, and not dash into the rocks. Uh, that that might be Ariel there. Okay, going in. Stand in line for like four hours. And then... 
Oh, we have a happy little carousel here, too. With all the skewered horses and mounts from various Disney movies. Perfect. So that could be, like, from Frozen. And that could be from... Bear movie. <laughs> I don't know. Where did they ride bear? Horses. Old school, old school ho horses from like uh, Sleeping Beauty and stuff, right? Okay, maybe. Maybe. Guar. I don't know where Guar is from. <laughs> uh, Hidden Mickey. Ah, I found another. Wait, did you really hide Hidden Mickeys everywhere? Okay, Errol's butt ride. Ugh. I don't remember Ariel having a spooky squid alien companion. Wait, what is that supposed to be? I think it's a spooky squid alien. From the Little Mermaid. Hmm. We'll roll with it. <laughs> uh, maybe it was one of the sequels. Maybe it's from Finding Nemo. They did have the jellyfish in Finding Nemo. So there, are, there are seven hidden Mickeys. The eels? Oh, it could be the eels. I guess it's going well, going well. Yeah, hidden Mickeys everywhere. I gotta find more of them. Supposedly there are seven hidden Mickeys. I've only found like, like two and a half. I'm not sure what counted. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There gotta be, there gotta be more. Well, maybe this would be a fun place to co come check out. This is Moonchild 2594 Strength Springs on Xbox. Maybe you too can find the hidden Mickeys. Oh, a big. Oh, yeah. Not <laughs> Lost in this. I totally didn't even look at the castle. Oh, gosh. Uh, come on, camera. Jet. Happy Castle. Giant antiquity furnishings kind of get lost up there. Are the hen Mickeys? I get up into this? Get close to look at some of it at least. Oh, sword, sword in the stone there? Cool. A little references to other movies in the doorways. Ah, it's Aladdin's lip. How cool, how cool. Mesmerizing is super fun. Super happy place. And then... Hmm, different colors around the edges. I think that's just to frame these other little... Well, so... No, they're purposeful. References to something. Oh, wait, let me know if you get references I don't get. I gotta go hunt for Mickey's. What season is it? It is Mickey hunting season. Oh, there's another one! <laughs> These are using like the bottoms of the undaunted trophies, right? Helps with the furnishing limits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yonder, gifting a set of clarity snacks. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, well, I feel like they, they talked about the Ferris wheel and the aerial boat ride. So anything else beyond that is probably just uh, gravy at this point. Amazing with the castle and everything. It's now becoming daytime. We'll leave the Mickey hunting to other peoples here. Okay, I'm going to continue along. I did have two other homes. So that will do it for the list that Mev had sent me from the ESO Property Sisters Guild. So thank you so much again. And I then had two additional homes, which I'm going to go to right now. I don't know if these people are also in that guild. I can check. Oh, what am I doing? 
I don't know. Maybe I maybe I see. They, they might not be. <laughs> may or may not be. There's a number of housing guilds on on Xbox. No, they're not. Okay, I'll go back. Okay, going to go to. Oh, that'll work. Erica's home. I don't know anything about this one. Okay, so just two more homes. I think you can Mev and Boo Boo Kitty and sorry, with an N. What was it? It was Nightmare. Nightmare with um, he has a property sisters. Thank you so much. Okay, and then I have two, two additional homes. Um, Erica invited me to their primary, which is Cottages and Courtyards Guild. There might be an additional guilds as well. And I don't know anything about it, so we'll just go explore it. And apparently they have a ginormous castle structure. Dotted, oops, dotted at the top with undaunted trophies, kind of standing guard. Oh, how fantastic is this as a surprise? I think I'm just going to go right in. Oh, they even have the giant door from the Dreadsail Reef Trial. It's a relatively new one. Well, I guess I'll just go straight in and then... I feel tiny here. Explore these different rooms. Very bright. An amazing job making this whole custom structure from floor to ceiling and filling it in. Also, a fantastic way of framing that tribute tapestry up above. That's to the uh, noblesse. That's used properly. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> I, I just love how filled in this is. So many details. And then we have drinks and everything in there, too. Super pretty. Darjira with a follow. Thank you. Welcome. And then a beautiful greenhouse here. Filling that in well. Yeah, ESO has... You know, lots of different zones representing lots of different regions and environments. And you can find lots of plants here, whether from the home goods vendors or... Sometimes you can pick them special, or lots of them are just on the crown store too. But, um... And then, if you're picking and choosing for a garden. How do you pick and choose things that are, have different kind of heights or textures or layers or, or colors and mix and match them all together to make something that's just very cohesive and beautiful? I think they've done an amazing job here. This has a bit more of a wild, kind of like a tamed wilderness feel to it. Oh, it's so, like the views here are amazing. We got Squid Feast. Perfect. <laughs> With all the water around, seems to be appropriate. I love just how big and open these windows are. Or it's more like a whole balcony, right? This has a bit more of an aquatic feel to it. Absolutely beautiful. Very peaceful. The music box certainly helps a lot.
so much to explore. There's just more and more and more rooms here. Down below we have the food preparation area. I have escaped. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Okay, uh, I'll go back out. Maybe that's how they bring in the food and everything. Kind of a little bit more out of sight. Okay, and going up. Seems like there's two rooms off to the side still. Again, kind of like this amazing arrangement here in the center of the room. Using the far grave planter and then building off of that. The elder maple and everything. Looks fantastic. Get very, very open here. Just really gives you full access to Moonshaker Meadow. Just beautiful by itself. If I were to guess, our toilet country is about to go up. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Maybe there will be another one on the other side, too. Couple of sweets here. Oh, wait, can I get in there? Oh, I went the wrong way in. <laughs> That's okay. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, good. Keeping that ratio above one. Double toilets, all the way. Okay, and I think that will be most everything here. It's a lot of room to explore. Fantastic structure on this. Love the use of the plants inside. Makes it look really majestic. And great views from inside as well. Okay, well, thank you, Erica. And final home today is going to be from Buff Nukem. Okay. Last one, then we'll wrap up for the tours here. I'll keep streaming past this, so I'll be doing other stuff. Purple chamber pots, yeah. <laughs> can pickpocket those a lot. Okay, they say this was for a 20th anniversary build. And they say that it's a bit of a reveal, so we'll see if we can kind of figure out what's going on. Maybe I'll go in the first person. Brooklyn. That was amazing lettering. Is that using socks or something else? It's a it's a train station of some sort. Metro? Oh no, it's, it's, that's cool. I like the O's. They're just like the very tops of some pots. Or the B. Gives it kind of a distinctive lettering style. Cool, okay. Line to Brooklyn here. I don't know much about New York. Oh, that, um, those must be the various train... train path areas then the routes the lines they're, they're the lines right nice temper there yes color coordinated figure out where your stops figure out where you need to swap we can get a ticket here oh that's cool and 
and we can hop this. Ugh. 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 I, I didn't get a ticket. I can't afford a ticket. Ugh. <laughs> Let me up. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, okay, I've snuck past. Don't do that, by the way. Oh, we're in New York. Got a good view. That's Statue of Liberty out there. How amazing is that? Oh, we have the whole skyline out there. This isn't princely dawn light. How incredible is that? Like, the, the level of detail on this is absolutely insane. We even have, like, the, the folds from, from the sleeve falling down there, right? That crystal is ginormous, by the way. It's from the Somerset Achievement Furniture. I know how big it is. It's way out there. Love this build. It's New York. Oh, this is this is old school. We got a, we got a twin towers there. Cool. And I don't know any of the buildings. We have that looks kind of like the Empire State Building. Have the world's largest ship in the background. Wait, no, and this would be. I don't know much of anything else. Is that Empire State? I don't know my New York land skyline buildings. Maybe, maybe name them one by one. There must be an iconic curved dome building and slanted building. How 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 did do you do the statue? That's a, this is a good question. This is all on Xbox still, by the way, so just even thinking about that is mind-boggling. There's even details in the face. It's like incredible using these giant clockwork boulders. It's like the little folds in the robe there. It's capturing that so perfectly. Ellis Island. Is that Ellis Island? Is that something else? <laughs> Those are related. Oh, okay. We'll go. Yeah, I, I like Ellis Island because of the name of it. It's totally unrelated. I don't think I have any connection to it. can climb up the base of the statue. Wait, what? Wait, I can climb up? I can... Are you trying to get me Slaughterfish buff? <laughs> uh, uh, there's nothing else to go explore here, right? Okay. Okay, they say I can climb up the base. I see there's a stair... So I can swim out there, climb up. Okay, I'm trusting you, buff. Oh, gosh, I'm gonna fall there. Um... Is that lethal? I'm gonna assume it's not lethal. Maybe I try to hop into the water. I don't think I can get much distance here. I can't really sprint. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Draw the move. Uh, hit the water. Ow! Landed <laughs> in the worst possible place. Okay, I mean, I think I might not have died if I had just gently lobbed myself off to right here. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll uh, swim out here. Slaughterfish aplenty. So it's not just the scene, it's like a three-dimensional view of it too. Xbox bills, I know, absolutely incredible. Get a good view of everything back there. Using a lot of Mark Hearth walkways for some of the bigger structures. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And you can actually climb up this, which is even more incredible. Zoom in a bit. There we go. New York skyline out there. Okay. 
can't go up more. Oof. Uh, a little, a little afraid of height up here. I think it's as far up as I can go, right? Can I look up Lady Liberty's nose? I can see her book. Kind of. Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you can. Okay, fantastic. Everything else is beyond the invisible wall, so you had to you had to push everything out there, right? Difficult to do that. Okay. Well, oh, what an amazing way to end here. Let me let me go back to where the. Uh... Oh, and you. I didn't. I totally missed this. The subway light. Writing there. Let me go back to the entrance and take a good look at that. Okay, and that'll be kind of how we wrap up. Does us ever highlight any of the amazing builds, like show them off in the launch or something? That'd be a cool thing to do. Uh, it'd be cool if they had a way of submitting things for some sort of like a public view. Cycle through like a gallery. They've done some contests before. I've even helped with some of that, but um, I haven't done a lot with it lately. I think they're kind of okay with people just kind of doing their own thing because people do their own thing and look how amazing, amazing it is, right? We had King Kong last last uh, week. I can just imagine King Kong up on there. Wait, was that Buff that had King Kong in, in their Stone Eagle area? That's awesome. That, that vod is up on YouTube as well. Um, I think that this tour went pretty well overall. I planned on putting this up on YouTube. If you're watching there, if you could please subscribe to me, that's free. Uh, subscribe to me, that's free, and that'd be awesome. Be planning on putting more housing tours up there. And this has been absolutely incredible. So thank you again, everybody, with these amazing houses. Uh, thank you again, especially to Mev and ESO Property Sisters Guild. And that's what we went to Mev's Jules Verne inspired home with a sub. It was so well decorated. We went to Technicolor's Boulder Tree Refuge. Tiny home there. And we went to Bad Bad Nana's Moon Sugar Meadow with a tavern and the lovely retirement home. Uh, we went to Nora Baggins Strand Springs with Mary's Treehouse. Concordia's Moon Sugar Meadow with the Estates with a fantastic hotel feel. Uh, Jess's Moon Sugar Meadow with the nasty house with all the creepy things. <laughs> Bigford Esquire's Lynchel Grand Manor with a triple labyrinth. Moonchild 2594 Strand Springs with a with the Disney Park. Super fun. Erica's Primary with the giant castle feel. Beautiful views and Buff Newcomb's Taste of New York here. So how how fantastic were all these different builds? So much variety, so much creativity here on Xbox. Thank you again. And I'll continue to be touring a lot of homes here on Xbox, and then I also tour PC houses every week. So if you ever want to invite me over, you can send me an in-game mail at jhartellis on PC or Xbox. So we'll continue to kind of fill in. I know I'm years behind on touring Xbox houses, so I'll continue to do that for a while and then keep up on stuff. So that would be fantastic. And that will do it. Fantastic comms all. Have fun with housing. Have fun with ESO. Stay spicy.